Well, hello again for another crazy project. Uh, what you see there, we have, um, actually let's start right here. Well, at least you see what that drawing was representing. This is, um, I was able to uh, find um, a nice industrial ceiling fan. So I didn't, you know, I took it apart. So here it goes. We got the top. It's really heavy. And we got the rotor, if you want to call it a rotor, part that spins. And we got the stator. Now the beauty about this stator is, first of all, it's already skewed skewed or tilted, slanted or whatever you want to call it and uh, it's not like the other uh, smaller ones where uh, they have uh, they don't have a consistent depth of the slots this one has a consistent depth of slots like, all the way around and uh, it has 36 slot or whatever I call them slots and if you uh, I've been searching the internet and I had a 30 uh, slot one and uh, it was not recommended to use versus a 36 slot S because 36 for every eventually this is going to be a three phase right so for every three you'll have a um, magnet for every three you'll have a magnet and it pulls a magnet on the other side so so for every one two, three coils, we'll have one magnet, north, south, north, south, and so on. So the plan with this project, and I hope I can uh, start and finish it, this is the fir first video, so the plan is to take all this off, because that's a uh, two-speed motor right now, really, it's not a generator, it's a motor. Um, they're nicely wrapped, they're two phase, you know, we can separate them and have two phase because they're very, and by the, by the reading of the ohms, they're very the same, just simply two speed, it doubles up. So, uh, <clears throat> the, um, so the plan is to uh, rip all this nice coil, uh, you know, out and um, install it uh, or um, recoil it with a uh, serpent idea. So, now, I'm not going to go crazy. I'm only going to be putting like a 20 winds for each coil just to uh, test it, right? I mean, I'm not going to go all this trouble for crap at the end. And if it works, I rip it again and put a nice uh, uh, whatever I want it at what speed. And I'll do the calculation based on my first 20 winds of coil. So, I have to do some some testing first. Unfortunately with the serpent you can't just test one coil and calculate it and so on. With the serpent you have to do maybe one but I'm planning to do all three at 20 winds and then test it that way. The option is I can maybe lay this one here and put an eighth of an inch or a quarter um, magnet um, um, motor magnets but damn those things are expensive. Um, so, you know, obviously I'm not going to go with that now. This is all for fun and um, see if it works or it doesn't work. If it works, it will work with, with block magnets. Um, it will be better with a, uh, a motor magnet, you know, the, the arc magnets, we want to call them. But if we can prove that it can work with the block, then for sure it work, will work better with the arc. So once I rip this off and uh, recoil it, you know, doo -doo 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 -doo, um, I did uh, this little surgical uh, of, um, this is uh, maybe a uh, sixteenth of an inch or maybe less than an eighth, just a little bit less than an eighth of uh, steel um, sheeting. So um, the plan is, uh, is it's, it's a good thing is I have a lip um, 
on this stupid thing. I have a lip down here about a quarter inch and even more than a quarter inch on both sides. I have that nice lip. So the plan is simply, uh, uh, without welding, without doing any of that crap, um, is to uh, insert this like so. So, now it's inside, eh? Um, don't mind me, just a little kind of like whatever, not enough. But who cares? I don't care. Um, so it's in there, right? So that's the uh, step one, I guess, or whatever. But anyway, the, 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 just the pre-planning. Um, so the other part, is, so I would, I would not weld it or anything. I might uh, put a strap. Uh, but I don't think it's necessary because this thing will come on top of it and actually I have screws that I'll make sure they will line up yeah, you can see them down there, see those screws right there anyway uh, and if they don't catch on, just probably just drill a little extra to the side and it'll be fine again this is for fun and for you guys to enjoy watching and see my success and failures or whatever just for fun anyway um, okay so we have the steel on there and after the steel on there so we need, uh, what I came to the conclusion is to have inch and a half by inch and a half um, magnet block magnet at a quarter inch that would go square um, I don't have these magnets but all I've got I have this uh, an eighth of an inch magnet. I cut it to an inch and a half, so it would it would go um, like so. Um, see there. Now a quarter inch is going to be really tight, eh? So I might do some fancy shaving of the edges just to kind of keep it on the inside a bit. Well, yeah, hopefully, hopefully it works. So the plan is each three of those uh, slots will uh, will um, have a magnet let's say this is polarity um, north or whatever and the, the opposite side will be the same north and then so on so for 36 and uh, you'll have north south north south it's perfect okay so that's the plan anyway uh, so you understand what this is going on here now just to bring you back to the drawing uh, I was, I had, again, I had a, uh, um, a 30 slot one, and you can tell it's not, I don't know how to, from all the good stuff that I read, or the gib, I don't want to say gibberish, but anyway, all kinds of shit out there, actually, it's just the balance, it comes down to the balance of the flux return, if it's not balanced, I don't know, that's the best way I can tell it, especially with iron, it's not balanced, it will be inefficient, that's with the 30. So the 30 is not as efficient, or it's, it's going to throw off the flux, and it's going to um, not do as well as 36. So the 36 are 3 on, 3 off, 3 on, 3 off. So it's, if, it's a, if you feel like it's a nice wave or whatever, it's, it's a perfect... It only makes sense, and that's the stupid computer. Um, so that's what the drawing is all about. If you look at it, see me zoom. It's um, the little, you know, those the coils and the magnets on the outside and the slot. Try to make it look fancy, but anyway. So that's the plan. So the plan is to make this sucker a serpent with iron uh, core. Now. Um, hey, I don't know um, how long it's going to take. Uh, I'm going to put this video up, and uh, if uh, if it keeps going, I'll keep it updated. But if it stops, I'll simply um, gonna tell it I gave up, you know. Uh, and then you guys can um, try and motivate me, or you can uh, do your own. All right. Um, until the next one. Um, see ya.